Welcome everyone. I hope this time finds you well. I had an idea to go into a deep stretch and just record. I find myself right now currently uh, in a point in my life where I think creativity for movement is something I'm trying to look for and a connection that brings that instantaneously is just free flow stretching. So with that, let's begin in whatever position you feel good. Maybe we could just start with a grounding technique where we just open up parts of the body, integrate natural bends, and tend to ourselves in this way. Allowing the external environment to be a part of our concentration. And you're outside, allowing the sounds of nature to be your rhythm. Extending the arms out into a T posture with closed ankles together or separated, allowing this energy to flow from the length of the fingertips all the way through, allowing there to be shoulder rotation as the arms are extended, and then taking the gaze to the right side after your rotations, making a big circle, taking up space here. Another circle to the right. Maintaining the extended arms to reverse the circles of the head. And as we continue with the separation of the feet and the extension of the arms, drive the pinkies back as we end the last circle. Looking up or straight forward and driving the elbows to bend as they continue to be straight out, almost like we're pinching the scapula area together and releasing by extending further out. Great job. Add in your accommodations. You can go for a palm up, so that might feel a bit better. But depending on your range through your shoulders, you will feel greater in one thing versus another. Let that be nourishing, let that be okay. Reaching back and extending forward, maybe integrating the bend of the fingers. And after this last one, we will extend the arms out and allow there to be a natural curve of the upper body as the knees continue with the bend, supporting us as we reach over. Extended side, bend, reaching and relaxing the arms every time we reach to one side and the other. Continue in this way, just get all that crunchiness to meet you with acceptance. Extend over to one side and reach, and maybe you're just noticing the area of the feet that we're covering as we go off with this weight distribution. I'm continuing to use the fingers to extend through my hand, opening up all of that in which comes in contact with us. Last two. We're gonna find the center, interlace the arms to extend upward and releasing the bind to find straight lateral arms, extending up. I'm gonna continue with bent knees as that feels good and the area of my feet, releasing the arms, circle it out with big extended circles of the arms. How's the breath? A reminder that the breath is what connects us to the things that truly matter, the truth. You know, they say, take a big deep breath, breathe, just breathe deep. It has purpose, reverse, go the other way. Once again, feeling into what it's like to extend the pinkies backward and obtaining your full range. We're gonna go to a dive here, allowing our natural flexibility to enhance the experience. Take the arms extended upward and let the journey be whatever it needs to be on the way down. Take your accommodations. And we're gonna massage the legs by bending into each knee, alternating as if we're just walking. A great moment. 
of immense emotions coming through as forward folds tend to be much more intense. We'll see more of this in a moment. Find stillness with bent knees or straightened. Keep one arm to rotate open with the other arm extending straight up. Close it now. Exhale as you open. There can be support underneath you and within you. you feel good supporting those extended reaches now and forward fold revolving twist and after this last two sides we will hold the forward fold and roll up from each part of the spine allowing the arms to be taken backward through the pinky extending all the way up just how we started fold again Continue with those walks. You can maybe extend the arms out, swing side to side, or just continue with stillness in ragdoll. But after these treads, step wider now. We will roll up from this wider stance for the second time from each part of your spine with bent knees. Support yourself in any way. Take the arms up in front and back to go down. Tread it out now, wide stance. Maybe your treads take you to lateral lunge. Whatever that is, release the head. Let go. Accept the journey you are on, free of receiving. And in that, we will all be surprised. The byproduct of effort. Keep it wide or toes out for this next time making our way up. Bending or straightening, going up and touching each part of the vertebra as the arms sweep back with the pinkies driving. Express it. Great job. Holding wide stance, let's reach out. Side reach. Drop one arm and extend the other up and over. Now in this way of moving, we can bend the knees to create more space. I'm feeling tender in the hips, so I'm going to bend every time. Maybe adjusting the toes. And after these four, I'm gonna continue with my side reaches, but with my toes facing front. Listen to your environment and notice what contributes and what does not. Grow from that. Hold the center, extend all the way up. And we're going to face our right toes to our right side and allow the left to follow as the body faces that direction. Step behind that ankle, a much more intense fold tight rope forward fold bend by the hips going back first extend the arms down exhale great moment for support but let's get a little dynamic so that we can continue in this way bend through the knees just feel into that pathway of the knees maintaining their own track and not caving in towards one another just discover here feel into the natural intensity that creates discomfort Remember, in that is growth. The last bend coming up. We will extend back into our first lunge, whatever amount, but bend into the back knee, creating that natural distance with the front underneath the ankle. I'm going to extend further back in my lunge and go into a bit more of an intense lunge. We can drop the knee and simply lift into 90 degree stance, which is so nice for the quadricep. And I'm personally actually gonna go there. We can develop into wider stance coming up next. Holding 90 degree stance, drop the arm with 
on the side of the knee that's up to reach up and over with the opposite arm. Come back, bind the scapula by pulling there. Reach over. You can have support with the arm that is on the same side of the leg. But if not, just try to reach and tap the ground. Use the tuck of the pelvis, that stretch of the quadricep to keep you safe, to keep you feeling good. Reach over, separating the fingertips for the last one. Let that be an extension of your energy. Great job. Take the weight back forward, sweeping the arms back up and go into your lunge. Let's move in a dynamic way. Lift the back knee, tucking the toes, stretching them there. Alignment with the left shoulder as we rotate towards the back with the right arm. Alignment of left shoulder, left wrist. It supports you. You have an arm, you have a leg and the one in front, use them to stay in your concentration. Continue with your way. Now before we continue on, after this rotation, we're gonna align the hips back square to the front with this lunge and press into both arms so that we can step the back leg to the top leg. Forward fold here. Bend through the knees, lift up, extend the arms back and up. And then keep the right where it is, stepping the left out to the side, wide stance, lift up star pose. Come down, sumo, squat down, let the knees find that strength that we saw on tightrope, lift up. Note the natural discrepancies as we speed up through this bend and lift. simple truths that allow us to continue on in our day to day through creativity through responsibilities hold the up posture start pose extend through the arm close the fingers open them in a rapid pace just waking up that area that we have been touching on lightly and this contributes to our time pressing through the hand Open and close, extending through the fingers, the center of the palm, lift. The left toes are where they need to be as the right pivot now, releasing that rapid movement, taking the toes to the left, turning the toes to the right, our upper body to the left, stepping in tight rope stance, forward fold. Now bend by taking the hips back. Release. How's your breath? It contributes to your growth. If we allow it to be. Let the breath be at the forefront of your journey right now. Perhaps in that comes a greater experience now that our focus is on the present. Driving that left hip back of the leg that's in front. Feel free to shift forward and back and just noticing the circumference of our feet, the area in which we are supported by. Bringing back vitality. Yes, let this time be one of significant nourishment. The back leg will step through the support of our hands, holding us. Right leg to the back in 90 degree stance. Lift up right quadricep. Feeling into that through the tuck of the pelvis. Feel into the core. Lift the arms up, dropping the left the arm. Oh, the same side of the knee, extending over with the right. <sighs> Scapula pulls. Reach back. There's natural shakiness, natural wobble. That is your body telling you, I have you for next time. We are growing as long as you continue to love yourself. As long as you continue to show up. That is self-love.
the last three reaches here with that scapula pull. We get to extend up, reaching both arms to the back and up. And taking our body weight forward, using the support of the hands. Now spread the fingers, extend and straighten the back knee and its leg. Stay put with the right arm, lifting up the left and move windmill back with the natural bend of the back leg. The exhale, create more space. The inhale binds your efforts. Last rotations here in this lunge. With this twist, take your accommodation. Rotate the body weight back to the front in low lunge. Step to the foot. Forward fold. Bend through every part of the spine to lift up. Lifting, extending the arms all the way up, keeping the left where it is, and we're stepping out with the right for a sumo stance, star pose. Sink through the knees, come down, lift up. Whatever pace, it has a place your time tending to yourself. Last two. We're gonna hold up, binding the hands, the fingers together, lifting up straight legs or bent for a brief moment. Inhale, exhale, full round. <sighs> Let go, sumo squat here, shifting side to side, just feeling into this energy that we have been building so far the pathway your body has taken, its accommodations. Keeping your body weight in the center so that we can drop the right arm past the knee or with support of it and extending the left up and over, alternating. Natural core, right? It's support. So it keeps us curious. Continue on. The last four are here. Know that this heat supports you. This discomfort allows you to grow. We're pushing through the center, through the heels to lift up. Arms can come on hips, lift up. Great job, toes face the front. We can keep the hands on the hips or bind the palms on the low back and send the hips back, squat now. And I said squat, but it really is ascending of the hips backward, and then a press of them as we lift. So think core initiates. Inhale as you go down. Take out that energy as you lift up. We're going to reset before we go on to more expressive lunges. Lift up. Great job. Release the arms. You can continue with them outward on the hips or straight up. Let's just roll on the right ball of the foot, creating circles. We'll reverse this. You can almost gawk the hip out and just move in a nice and flowy way. Tucking the pelvis, find alignment, and note other areas of your body that contribute to this way. Reverse that rotation. Might feel a bit slower, a bit more tender. Lift up, power the shoulders. Are they closing off the neck and touching the ears? Pull down. Last circle. Find the center body weight, shake it out. We're taking the weight on the left, 
excuse me, on the right to move the left ankle. Lift the arms up or find something else. I'm going to bind my hands in prayer behind my back, reverse prayer. Taking my weight on the right to move the left. Reverse prayer, I'm conscious of the elbow and their journey backward, making that square and lifting of the chest and rolling of the shoulders downward. Last ankle rotations. Be careful here, it can be tender, especially as we press weight onto the pinky. That's why our weight is on the right side of us, the opposite side of the rotation, reverse. Movement allows us to connect to the important attributes of life and zoom out to have the perspective of the stars. Not necessarily looking so close to everything and becoming bothered by those external forces get close to what matters and zoom out on what doesn't all right i'm ending my rotation taking my weight in the center unbinding my arms from behind me and taking the toes outward keeping the right how they are and turning my body that way taking the toes that direction and going into tight rope forward fold once again Send the right hip back of the leg that is front. Release the head. Continue with those bends or hold here. Now we'll let the bending of the front leg Take us to the weight of our hands so that the back leg can find connection or lunge. Now continue in 90 degree support of the back knee dropping or continue in low lunge and just lift up. We'll build some heat. High lunge to high lunge fly. Using the strength of the front heel to hold you still for the last three. And if we're using these arms to move up and down, we can spread through the fingers. Drop the back knee whenever. But now, I'm taking my body weight forward and continuing with the rotations forward to back. Bending, using the support of the left hand landing and its alignment with the shoulder to express further in my lunge. Now we're probably in the most expressed lunge we've seen yet. Tiptoe close to the front leg and its knee for what we have next. Because we're straightening for the hamstring while we maintain the back leg and its distance, whatever capacity, push through the front heel as we just saw. And then it's awesome if we have the support in front of us so that we can lift the chest but my support right now is the fingertips driving the right hip back you can feel that much more here and what that does for us hold anything that you'd like maybe that's just your back knee completely down but i'm going to hold the straight in front leg and release the head advancing on with further attributes as a choice right you dignify your experience here continue with anything that you're holding especially this extended front leg I'm dropping the back heel bending through the front leg you can go into a stretch for the inner thigh by dropping the back knee finally I'm gonna hold this for just two rounds of breath after this I'm going to build on to concentration of the area of my foot by tucking the toes now shifting my weight forward and on to the front leg to every part of its toes and opening up into a single leg balance you can turn the knee out obtaining crescent 
move. We're closing the knee and expressing through your full range of the hamstring. The last breath. Whatever you choose, there's no right or wrong, just experience. Move here. It can be a lot for the hips. So in that way, we are switching it out. Bring the back tightrope foot next to the other. And it'll stay there now for its round. But before that, we lift up. Bending through the knees, lifting up all the way. Now the leg that was in front throughout those lunges will have its hip rotations. Do that now, sending the leg back and front. I'm having my hands on the back of my head to create more strength opening through the shoulders, scapula area, but most importantly, concentration. Choose to reverse if you'd like now. Relax the shoulders. Hands on hips is just as great. There is no hierarchy here. Natural core. Great job. Last rotation, drop the moving leg behind the remaining leg, the remaining foot, and drop into tightrope stance. Driving the front hip back. As mentioned in the start, we are utilizing our natural flexibility to enhance growth to enhance the experience and trusting our bodies. I've been having dilemmas and whether this is true or not, you don't always have to go super slow or wake up the body. Sometimes we have everything that we need to succeed. We just have to trust. Relax the head further. You can continue with those bends as I am now, feeling tender in the front foot. So the bends allow me to take up the whole area. The back leg in tightrope will step into lunge for the second time. And in this lunge, we can hold high lunge or go in to deep low lunge with the back leg dropping. I'm gonna hold high lunge and with the strength of my front foot, I release the hold of the ground to shoot up with the arms and fly. Not for long now, we have four more of these movements. So lift up from the heel, allowing the stomach to be free of the thigh. We're using arms, yes, so your breath contributes to their liberation. Last time. Great heat building, I hold down, I continue with my high lunge by dropping the right arm, taking the left arm to windmill forward to back. Now we felt what it's like to take the weight on the pinky toes of the feet, push it to the big toe, especially of the back foot. It's easy to let that ankle shoot out. Pressing through the center of the remaining hand for the last circle. And continuing on, I'm gonna drop my back knee for two rounds of breath. Untucking the toes and just breathing here. Intense expansion, yes, but trust is at the forefront with breath. Now, I tuck the back toes and extend the front leg for its hamstring and pushing back. You can hold here, lifting the toes towards you is an option that enhances experience. But from here, I'll be pushing on to the front leg. Drop the back heel as close as you can for that experience. We've been moving through lunges, so 
my encouragement to you is to simply choose what feels awesome, what makes you feel great. Pressing my weight now to the front foot and going to crescent moon. Going into that balancing and supporting yourself in whatever way, bending into the leg that you are on, but holding the lunge and expressing further through the area of the thigh, the legs. Great job. I'm going to turn the knee to face the mat and just feel into my natural capacity with light support of the bending of the leg and hands. Great job, I bend now to bring the back leg into tightrope once again. Lift up, drive the leg back, tightrope once again. I was in a different area for those movements, so hope my words help you dignify your direction. I'm new to this way of showing up through the digital space with fitness and movement. And so there's so much, so many layers to it. And I'm simply grateful for what is right now. What are you grateful for? The front leg and tight rope will come next to the other one. We'll find a wide stance. Ragged on now. You can drop the head on the ground and go upside down if you choose, but we're going to go into some upper body expressions. Forward fold. We just rest. This is also a great moment for some water. The towel off to reset. But to lower down, I'm pressing my hands on the ground and dropping the knees. Finding hero stance or any other stance that feels comfortable as we warm up the arms. Extend the arms up and behind you. Big circles. We'll just do three more of that. Separate the fingers. We'll meet at the up posture now and bind the fingers together, driving the hands and elbows together as they come down to 90 degree. In 90 degree, I hold my fingers in that binded position and rotate the wrist, the hands. Maybe the first time you're having your full attention on the hands and recognizing so much comes from here. So let's nourish it. I'm choosing to be in just a regular stance here, sitting down, reverse these circles. Accommodate for yourself. Now, ending the circles here, continue with the elbows together, release the bind of the fingers, and we're gonna continue this height, this length of the elbows from our body to open up cactus. Just use the strength, come back to that scapula area we saw, come back. Note the integrity of your mind as you just Tend to yourself where there's natural resistance and hindrance. Your mind can also nourish you. It can be a protective barrier in the face of distractions, of wantings, of disliking. So let every movement right now contribute to that growth. Last three. Spreading the fingers as well. Adjusting my seat so I can demonstrate what I'd like to move on to next. And as I hold cactus up, we'll shoot up and lift from here. Come back down to cactus. (sighs) Driving the elbows back and all the way down to lift all the way up. Maintain alignment. Natural discomfort, right? But we said that's how we grow, so why stop? Lift all the way. Drive the hands, the arms back, and take the fingertips to face the direction of your seat and push into them, lift up. I'm gonna find straddle stance. As I press into the palm of my hands, 
lifting tall. You can take the weight forward if you're in straddle or any other posture and go into the fingers and come back, but try to drive these shoulders down. It can be a bit questionable as we are fully the length of our hands and arms, but just try to drive the scapula back. That center of the upper spine. Last movement. Hold still. I'm going into cross-legged stance so I can go into lateral reaches, side reaches. So extending my arms out, lifting all the way up, and dropping the left to reach over with the right. Maybe you go on to that elbow as we've found this before. Lift up, alternating. Just two more. And we'll go on to a supportive twist. Use the center of the palm, the ball of the hand to lift back up. Drop both arms to twist over to the left now. Hold here, full round. Inhale takes you back. The exhale. Twist you out. Full round. Lift up, inhale. Other side. Lift up from the center, wrist roll from center out and down. We'll come back up, drive those pinkies backward, and we'll do those wrist rolls again, but with open hands. Great job, bring hands in the center. And I'm gonna take my weight on my knees now and sit on them. Whatever you choose, we'll come with hands and palms together. And I'll be pressing one greater than the other so that it can move to that opposing side. Breathe here, you're feeling this in the tricep through the elbow and a little bit of that forearm. And also through the separation of the fingers, las muñecas, the wrist. Spread now. You can also push greater towards the fingers with one side of the hand and get into the fingers and their full extension. But just make sure that you're breathing and contributing to your calmness, your tranquility. Let the shoulders relax. Let the natural shake be healing. And if we're on the knees, be still. Last time. We're gonna tip our body weight to the direction of the hand we're pushing on and dropping that hand so we can go into a side reach. Windmill now. I'm inverting the hand, the fingers to face me. That's just a choice here. It feels very good for that area we just worked. I'm pressing and lifting through that hand still for the last rotation. A lift back up through the core, through the contraction of it. Hands press. Now together. Push greater for the other side. Spread the fingers, lower the body. Find your contribution. Pressing through the hips, just to feel still. And after your round of breath, the inhale will take you to drop the arm we're pushing towards and extending the opposing for that side reach.
when you know it's a choice. back up through the core. Great mobility. Sit back in heroes. Now we can go into a stylistic toe stretch. Another option would be just to simply take your weight back and feel into the area of the top of the ankles. But I want to think that my heels are pushing underneath my seat versus out, okay? That is what we were trying to avoid earlier during the rotations and the lunges. So we want them to push inward. That can already feel uncomfortable if an individual hasn't worked their turnout before, but we are rewiring the body and training it to keep safe through ankle strengthening. Now, if we're sitting in hero's pose in that way, heels are almost touching our sit bones. We can push our weight backward into the hands, and this is enough here. I think pelvis, almost like there's a sucker punching sensation happening. And after that, if we can advance more, we just lift up the knees and back down. Gradually, you'll be able to lift up greater, and maybe through your journey just trying to get there, you push the hips back and then sucker punch in just for a nice little release. Just a way of moving free of receiving as we can find greater contentment through the journey itself. You can play with the distance of your hands and if you have leverage underneath you, you can hold on to it and use that as lifting support. Now if we're using the hands on the ground, Let's act as if we're using the hands on the ground. So push to the center of them and drop the shoulders. Not crunching up, it's very easy. But if everything in life was easy, it would be pretty boring as we wouldn't feel the rush of accomplishment, the joy of fatigue from effort. All right, I just got my pop in from the top of my ankle. Free of receiving. Last time. All right. We're continuing in hero's pose. I'm going to sit on my right side, extending the left leg out. And now I'm pivoting my body forward, lifting up, and then pivoting over to that way. Dropping, feeling into the slight twist that occurs in this fold. Walk back up through the hands. Lift up from the center. Turn the body that way. Fall down. Pull around. Another time now. Great job. Holding here. Taking our body weight forward towards the leg and then through the center. You can hold the center, adjust the bent leg in any way. You can almost take your body weight forward to that bent leg. And it can be much for the front leg, so I invite you to just scoot that leg forward a bit. Flexing the extended leg. And you can continue in forward fold or we can lift up from the center extend the left arm towards that foot and then curving the body in that side bend way back to that right corner of the low back inhale exhale inhale to lift taking the weight to the right arm and twisting out for pigeon extending the extended leg even more as we bend through the remaining. Adjust your seat. You can put leverage on the bent 
leg and its hip. But in this time breathing here, would you enjoy a greater sense of ease through the time we have taken so far? So breathe here. I'm just moving and massaging through this area. I'm gonna hold next as I come down into spider stance with the arms. Find your way of honoring now that we are much more still. Push through the hands, lifting up. Feel free to go for a back bend here. In pigeon stance, a back bend through the arch of the upper back. Now we rotate the body back to the center, keeping the left leg extended and extending the right straddle stance. Reset. Take anything that you need here. The right is where it needs to be so that the left can bend and help us move there. You bend to that left leg and then bend into the right as we pivot that direction for a full round of breath staying there. Slight rotation backward. Walk back with the hands, lift up again. longer for this last extension. Now we can extend further to the leg and crawl over for the center and extend here with the flex foot as a choice. And just lift the body weight up and back. Eventually, we are pivoting to pigeon. Allowing the breath to relax our left hip and release its energy. I'm holding still now. And shifting my back leg further behind me as I bend the bent leg, the left leg, further and wherever it's comfortable for pigeon. Lift up. in pigeon or finding your moment of stillness whenever it feels just right. You need to rush. There's no time frame to this long life that we are able to live.
Use your breath to deepen the experience. Binding your efforts by lifting up and unwinding in a way that feels nourishing. Turn the leg back into its straightened stance for straddle. Move here. Anyway, we're going to go side to side in straddle posture. But before that, let's come back to the upper body by bringing our hands on and behind the head and then using the distance of the elbows pushing backward to be that threshold as we take the arms back and support of the palms, lift up. I'm reflecting now on parts of this flow that I might have forgotten to touch on. Maybe we did it on one side and not the other, but that is growth. <laughs> I honor my efforts and give thanks to the grace and understanding I meet myself with. Release the support of the back arm. Continue that integrity of the shoulders as we extend the arms out and reach over to one side, curving over with that opposing arm. Feel free to hold here, do some windmills or Come up with the windmill and go on to the other side. We'll transition back to the feet. your last extension over to one side and remain in the center as you close the legs. In closing the legs, we can find butterfly and just move through the sit bones and just get all the nice energy to bind throughout our day. Whatever way you choose, we will come to the knees in tabletop with the support of the four points of the body. Pressing through the center of the hands, dropping the belly and lifting up our eyes, and pushing the chest forward, doing the opposite by pushing inward, stomach close all the way up, upper back all the way up, releasing. Find a dramatic way of moving. In my redemption for left hip rotations, we'll hold tabletop. And take the weight on the right side of us to rotate the left hip back to front. And we'll reverse that now. Take that other side if this feels great with the support of the legs versus full balance. Take the legs, the knees wide, toes touching to push into your gratitude posture. Reaching far with the fingers 
expressing your back at the fullest extent. Four rounds of breath here. Inhale and pushing to the forearms, holding there for sphinx pose as you drop the stomach and rotating the neck again. Pushing through the elbows, lifting up to be liberated of all else, reverse. Now tuck the toes as an option. We can push the pelvis up and bringing all of that close, belly button close to the spine, pushing through the forearms and its elbows, low plank. Adjust anything that's hold here. Continue to hold or rock side to side with some quad rockers. adding those quad rockers soon of pushing into the upper body and its capacity its extension that we've been working on that we've been tending to We will drop the knees after these five. Drop the knees and lift on them. Walking back with the arms. And we're on the knees again. Let's go for the last the lateral reaches, side reaches. By curving one arm in front of the body, letting that big circle take us to that side. Reverse now. The last two are here. I hope you've been present in your body as you've been moving in this way and allowing this time to be free of other thinking that goes on throughout the day. Lift up. Both arms you can go up, back with the elbows, and again. Take anything else you need. To end off, we will lift all the way back to our feet through down dog position. Back to tabletop, tucking the toes first and using your core and abdominal muscles to initiate the move. Holding down dog. Feel free to extend one leg and the other. I'm gonna go to a free flow and just move my legs in down dog. Stay rooted, stay present. Once you are ready, you walk towards the hands. You're lifting up from each part of the spine, taking the arms back and up. And to one another, and in front of you. Let this ending of this video of guidance contribute to your personal growth. May you be free of 
distractions and sufferings. May you honor your body and your efforts and the contribution to your journey.